Like, and this year, like the stuff that's going on is uh, even for us riders like pretty mind blowing. I want to do double backflip. Uh, I haven't done it in the last show. Any last words? Uh, drop it. Whoa. Really every show, every intro is so much fuel and dust in the air that every time we drop in for the first jump we get it in our eyes. It's kind of sketchy because you hit the jump kind of blind. I'm good. High risk, medium reward. <laughs> yeah. There's Danny. Danny! I'm your biggest fan. Hi, and welcome to the wrongest of ways and the craziest setup imaginable. And honestly, you told me I'd be here like even, I don't know, half a year ago, I'd say. You're out of your goddamn mind, but. Here we are, this is Masters of Dirt, Vienna 2024. I finally have some time to record, so let's get into it. So this is a uh, three-story roll-in. Um, and then we have a bunch of jumps here. Uh, we have this jump, which is for mountain bikers. We have this, these jumps, which are for the motocross people. And the uh, buggy. We have this jump, which lands into an airbag. I just don't know where to start, guys. Um, it's been like, it's been just crazy for me to be here and to ha have this experience. And I'm super grateful to Mike Leahy, who <laughs> invited me to come over to Vienna. I initially didn't think that this would be happening. I just wanted to ride with Mike. But then, turned out, <laughs> since the full stadium experience with all-time all-stars of the extreme sports world. This is the third day already of this event and I wish... Oop, <laughs> I had more... Oh, it's steep. Let's go back up. <laughs> uh, and I wish I had a bit more time to show you guys around and give you the whole BTS experience uh, from the whole trip. But honestly, I was... I wanted to just be in the event. I wanted to be in the moment that felt like putting a camera out there would just uh, detract from my experience. And I was kind of selfish with that, but I'm happy because honestly, all of the stuff that has happened here, I, I, I'm flabbergasted. And I did this jump too. Maybe, maybe we'll hit this one today as well. Maybe we'll even hit this one, we'll see. Big gap. <laughs> This is the 20th anniversary edition and it includes some of the like people you probably know from, from YouTube, from Extreme Sports. A bunch of amazing writers that I, I got uh, to meet. It's just so overwhelming. It's uh, hard to wrap my mind around that. Giovanni on the rollerblades, uh, Risa, Richard on a scooter. I'll try to mention every single one of you guys that I met here, but it might be a bit tough. Toby Mertz on the on a motocross bike. It's it's a like money can't buy this. It's it's a crazy experience, guys. And once again, huge thanks to Mike Leahy for making this possible. He went here, he 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 got a S22 from my E wheel. Turns out that wheel is just a bit too weak for those jumps. Uh, didn't charge to fully as well. Oh. Oh. Check out those jumps. Woo! <laughs> the biggest distance here is 32 meters. Crazy. They jump from here and they land there. <laughs> so right now, we are waiting still for the medics to come. We're waiting for the practice session. I'm just gonna stare at this uh, jump and go up like many, 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 many times to get a feel for it. And maybe then later I can just go from there, three floors high, 45 degree incline, 
and then send it to the moon to land right there, which is landing like, uh, I think that's like four or five meters up. So we can hit the airbag, which is um, what I would have asked for. So let's hit it. up this ramp every time is freaking insane. Alright, so I'll be making a break right now because the amount of adrenaline, like, I can look pretty chill, but I'm shivering. <laughs> Ooh. Anyway, uh, 146 volts on the links. It was beeping when going up, so I'll just charge it up slightly more. Uh, the thing is that I need not a full charge to not overcharge the wheel for landings. But I do need a pretty full charge for going up the ramp. So it's just a lot, <laughs> a lot to take in. Everyone's cleaning up. There's so much work that behind, goes like behind all of the sort of scenes. This is a team of 500 people working on this event for the past five days, now six days just set that all in place so huge thanks to all of those people for making it possible because without you putting the ramps together without putting the dirt onto the landing without making those ramps none of that would be possible so thank you I think now I'm gonna try this ramp it looks uh, nasty but I already did it, so it's gonna have a couple run-ups and see how it feels like that's the that's the reasonable things I do now. Perspective of this jump is pretty bad. This one I did, so just roll in from here. Up, up. And then you go way into the moon. It's difficult to just like go by yourself and like drive a bunch of stuff. The gap is not as massive as the other one. But you really get used to weird shit here. The moment before the jump is always the worst. It's move as butter. Mike is here! Hey! What's up my dude? What's up everybody? We have been already chatting for the past four days but I didn't record almost anything. We did like a bunch of crazy shit. I mean you're doing the show here. How does it feel to make like a epic stadium show on a wheel? Uh, it is incredibly hard on the, the body. <laughs> <laughs> I've taken some big slams, some crazy tire burn to the butt. <laughs> um, but also some incredible triumphs. Uh, I feel like I am dying and more alive at the, <laughs> than I've ever been. <laughs> right, at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, and thanks so much, Mike, for this opportunity because without you, I wouldn't be here. So, 
huge thanks, dude. And without you, I wouldn't be sending it so big. You <laughs> saved my ass bringing this. How does it feel compared to the S22 for you? Um, the power difference is night and day. Um, I've, I felt it immediately, um, especially when climbing. Um, right. I'm able to give it some way more juice going up a ramp. So right now the oscillations are a little uh, yeah. testy in the air. Um, but I feel like that could be something that's patched up. Um, I still don't have my style down with it because it is a lot heavier than the S22. The S22 I feel like I can really just whip out there. Yeah. Um, I'll always love it for that, but uh, power-wise, it is lacking. <laughs> Right, I'm super yeah. happy you came in in the morning, by the way, because you were on the after party. How much did you sleep? I didn't stay that long in the after party. Oh, okay. uh, got like four hours of sleep, maybe. <laughs> yeah. That's solid, though. Some yeah. people here are just like, like you would think it's an easy job. You just go to a show and you do the jumps and that's it. Dude, this has been like three days of pain, agony, and happiness. 16 to 16 hour days. Uh, 16 hour days. Like we go here at, we meet at 9.30, 10 a.m. in the morning. Then we do the practice and we just stay around here because there's stuff happening. We can't hit the jumps. Then there is a show in the evening or there's two shows because yesterday there were two. And they go on up to like, uh, what, 11 p.m.? Yeah, 11, 11.30. 11 11.30. And then there's a signing Auto session. Autograph session. <laughs> we wait online. Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, you guys love it, but it's funny to see it from the other way around. Yeah. Anyways, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of fun. And we have this place basically to ourselves now, so I think we're gonna use this opportunity. Or just rest, I don't know. How do yeah. you feel? Oh, I'm not gonna send it right now. Oh, but okay. I'll, I'll film you. Okay, do. Let's, let's do it, let's hit it. So here I try to just like start sideways, put my foot on so I don't put it on the way down, and then send it up that ramp. Alright. Okay, let's hit it. Oh, yeah. That was a nice twist there. Thank you. That looked super good. Thank you. The morning feels good. Yeah? <laughs> I need such a gym close by. I mean, guys, you know, when uh, when hitting those ramps on a bike, you're using like more limbs. <laughs> we are just, it's all in here. It's all in here. We oh, never right skip leg here. day. <laughs> oh my God. Mine are so sore after this weekend. I, they're just like bricks in the morning. <laughs> Been needing to go like Theragun session. Just bop, 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 bop. Uh, loosen these things up. <laughs> it's super cool here though, because there's even like, uh, what, what is it called? Uh, a rehab center. <laughs> oh, the physio. Oh, the yeah. physio, yeah. yeah. So you, you were there a couple of times. It's, oh, it's, yeah. it's awesome that such a show is like so professional about it. Yeah. I've been back and forth between physio and medical every day. <laughs> At 9 a.m. I was like meditating in front of the first jump. I was like going up and down. I have a time lapse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You get into a, like a trance. Yeah. I'm getting super trance. If you do it, we got to put something in the gap though. Yeah. For sure. Because like you fall into a wall essentially there, right? Maybe hey, let's take a look at it. Yeah, you wanna go take a look? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone knows me, taking a look at something always leads to things. <laughs> right, so the big difference here is the big difference. <laughs> it's a huge difference, like there should be for scale. So this ramp is at least two feet taller. This gap is It's a nine meter gap. Yeah. And it's gonna, this ramp is gonna shoot you up way higher. Okay. So you need more speed to go in this like parabolic arc over. And the landing is also kind of steep. So if you overdo it, it's gonna disappear underneath you. If you underdo it, you hit the back of this and fall to the concrete below. High risk, medium reward. <laughs> yeah. By the way, should be. Can you stand next to the wall just so we have a shibby for scale? That's, I think that's three shibbies at least. Three shibbies? Three shibbies, dude. That's, that's a lot of shibbies. <laughs> that's a lot of shibbies. 
six uh, meters or uh, 18 feet high. The, and the ramp is like two shibbies, I think. Yeah, ramp is two shibbies. Not even two shibbies, like... Um, less than two shibbies. Yeah. So that's the airbag. Yeah, that's more than two shibbies. Oh yeah, that's a taller ramp than that one. I know it's taller, I just didn't know how much taller. Oh yeah, and it's a lot steeper at the top. Crazy. But even on that one where I went super like far yeah. and high, like I don't think I would have gotten the height like the bikes do early on. Oh. The way that they push off of this thing, they can pop like straight up. And I went up, 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 but I also went almost to the flat. Yeah, oh, and true. And they, won't, and they go high, but they don't go so far. They don't go far at yeah. all. Yeah. They can just go, do it so well. They'll go 10 meters up, right? Yeah, 10 yeah. meters is the high jump. Over the flaming bar and do a front flip over it. Just very basic masters of their dirt stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they're, I mean, they are really the masters of dirt. <laughs> yes, all of them are legends. Connor is like 13 years old. Yeah. So... The phenom. I, I lost my part, you know, I'm 28. I, 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 I'm just too old for his shit. <laughs> I feel that way every morning. <laughs> but anyway, we, I'm going to just roll up that a couple times because it feels good. And yeah, I think we're going to take a break because uh, I need a bit of chill time. That's what I was doing in the morning, like this, and whoop. And then going back, and again. And whoop. <laughs> it looks like it's doable. <laughs> High risk, medium reward. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shit, you fucking flew! Damn, dude, how'd that feel? Amazing. Where'd you come down? On the edge. On the edge? I can do it, dude. I can do it solid. Holy shit, man! Woo! Woo! You're breathing back before you move. Sure. No worries. Just take your lift. Yeah. Send it. God sent too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Everything works? Okay? Everything seems to work. I'm just uh, bruised up in the pack. You're the man, dude. This is pioneering. There it is. <laughs> You give it a little more sauce. It, it fully dipped on the takeoff. Oh, your knees went. Wheel hit you in the back. <laughs> Somersaulted like six times yeah. over you. What if we do leg out and then? I can go. Bring you up. Yeah, yeah just shift through before you stand up. You can go better, better than we go. Yeah. And the pain is here. Conscious. He's surprisingly fine. Is your nose yeah. broken? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> hey, his, his brain still works. Yeah. yeah. Is it recording? Oh my god, it's still recording. Alright, 
so we're trying out uh, the links now, if it's still okay. The front handle is broken, but other than that, it looks fine. Yeah, just a little uh, crack up top. Oh yeah, the crack on top. It landed, punched the top in. Yeah, so it's it's good from a free fall from like six meters, which is a bit of a testament to its quality. <laughs> Watch out for this. Yeah. I'm feeling uh, better now. I had a bit of like dark spots, but now it's uh, it's fine. I uh, don't think I'm gonna jump in this helmet <laughs> anymore, but um, in general, I'm like getting better. You can die happy, man. You don't have to jump anything ever again. <laughs> Oh, so now we're just chilling. The show starts at two. Uh, last show of the weekend. Here we go. Show number four. Yep. So it's gonna be fun. Yep. And uh, yeah, that's all I can say now. <laughs> Double vlog action. <laughs> Double vlog action. Who's vlog? Your, your crash was another level. It it hurt. <laughs> like it it looked so insane. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Like they, are, they are watching you. Oh, they, they, they're watching my crash? Yeah. That's Fabio Wittmer. Uh, fair play for uh, Did it, trying it. Did uh, it actually hit you in the back? Actually, no. Luckily not. Uh, it was like this close. Super close. Yeah, super close. But I made it once, so that was great. Yeah, yeah I saw also that you made it. You cased it. Yeah, cased it, but, but made it over. And <laughs> you came with a little bit too much speed on the same. Yeah, uh, yeah. Maybe beast if it lands on you. Yeah, I was super scared. It's 40 kilos. Yeah, you're in life. Yeah, I'm also happy. Thanks. <laughs> By the way, how are you enjoying the show? Uh, it's sick. Like, uh, oh, thank it's, you. <laughs> oh, oh, you wanted to? <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's a okay. yeah. no, um, It's sick. Like every year, Vienna is like it's the best show. Yeah, because like, and this year, like the stuff that's going on is uh, even for us riders like pretty mind blowing. Like everyone is like going huge. Especially last night was. Uh, yeah, everyone was almost like going too too far. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's that's what makes it like such a good show. And uh, yeah, I'm bummed like to be a bit bruised today, mm -hmm. so I won't be riding a show. But other than that, uh, it's always like sick feeling coming together with all the riders, like so many different sports. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for meeting you here. Yeah, no worries. Yeah, pleasure to have you here. Yeah, thanks. Like this is some. Like I can't even get my head around how you would even like think about taking a one wheel and like hitting <laughs> these it. jumps. Yeah, it's like let alone like I mean biking is another thing, but then taking it with the with the mono wheel is that's fair play. Wollen Sie gleich ans Expertentelefon gehen, Herr Ohm? Um Gottes willen. Thanks, appreciate it. Yeah. For me, it's the other way around. Like, how can you do all of this with the bike? Like, I was watching so many videos of you. Honestly, <laughs> I never thought I would be in the same city as you. So, <laughs> so there we are. There it's we are. Pleasure. Yeah, thanks. For sure. Well, again, thanks so much for meeting you. Yeah. I'll take the mic thanks. back and enjoy the show. I yeah, guess looking show. at it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See you later. Hey guys. Yeah. Natalia, what tricks are you gonna do today still on the show? I wanna do double backflip. Uh, I haven't done it in the last show. It was really close, but I hope this time would be perfect. Yeah, it's the fourth time, that's the fourth show, and you're getting every time a bit closer, so I think today you can nail it. Yeah, it's so annoying. Every time so close, but not enough close. I hope this time would be it. How is it for you to jump with all of these uh, legends on stage? Amazing. I'm so excited to be here with those guys. They are so uh, amazing at what they are doing. They're so friendly too. Yeah. It's, I have so much help from them. Awesome. Well, thanks. Good luck with the double backflip. Thanks, man. And here we have another fellow Polish person, Szymon Gojek. What tricks are you going to do today? Uh, I'm doing double backflips with no hander, a uh, couple tail whips, couple supermans, yeah, all my favorite tricks. What do you like uh, in this show compared to like, I don't know, dark fest and are like more rider focused shows and this is more like a people focused show? I like that the crowd gives us so much energy that we can feel that and we can push ourselves more. Right. It's, it's super sick, I love shows. Yeah, and there's pyrotechnics. Did you get any like uh, pyrotechnics in your eye? Actually, every show, every intro is so much fuel and dust in the air that every time we drop in for the first jump, we get it in our eyes. 
it's kind of sketchy because you hit the jump kind of blind. Oh my god, you hit the blind jump with like a backflip. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it's all about the feeling. Wow, that's nuts. And here's your, your bike. Are you enjoying the lack of a back suspension? Not really, not really. <laughs> uh, I just came back from Chile when I was two weeks on a downhill bike. And uh, it was not easy to switch the bike from downhill to this hardtail bike. I uh, need a couple of days to get used to it. Um, definitely, I am a, more a downhill bike rider at the moment. But I still enjoy doing tricks on my hardtail bike. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Good luck with your tricks this evening. Thank you. So that's the experience you're getting here. You just have amazing people all around you and the hype. The pump, the stoke, like everyone is just trying to do their best. Sometimes stuff goes wrong, but luckily, most of the time, it goes well. There's Danny! Danny! I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> I never say that to anyone. <laughs> How's it going? Oh, I love it. Uh, how are you enjoying the shows here? Oh, it's class, isn't it? It's uh, first time being part of Masters Dirt, and the uh, energy is pretty wild. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's just hyping each other up and doing yeah. like the biggest stunts. Yeah, it's definitely a pretty wild scene going on for sure. So, are you ready for the flip today? Wow. We'll, <laughs> we'll see. Sure. We'll see. You know, maybe I have sure. maybe I have a bit more control over what height we go today. So. Oh, okay. He yeah. had some extra um, extra sleep and extra rest. Oh yeah, that was me. Yeah. I've been so well rested. I just feel like I slept like a baby. I feel sarcasm. Yeah. Exactly. But not ready. <laughs> ready for it. So. Sweet. Yeah. Let's hit it. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks. Are you right? <laughs> Mike, you're right. Can you breathe? How are you feeling? I have a bad knee. Knee? I tweaked it. Oh crap. I mean, this whole shit. Okay. Next one. Oh boy. Next one. Huh? Oh, hold on. <laughs> oh, so I'm carrying some coffee for myself, some water for Shibi. Oh, I can definitely, definitely feel the pain kicking in, especially the lower back and my nose is swollen up, so it's getting tougher to breathe. But uh, in general, less headache. I definitely feel like it's all right now when it comes to my head. Oh, congrats on the scent, dude. It was sick, it was huge. Each one of those jumps has felt so different. Yeah. I can't like so to replicate. The the, the, yeah. yeah. It's hard to calibrate. Yeah. So you need for it to hit it right. Yeah, and like what's the balance at the takeoff? Should I get any of the medical stuff for you? you These guys just ask a bunch of questions. Uh, it's truly an extreme sport. All right, so I just talked with Mike. He seems to be all right. I'm grabbing his phone. 
some problem with his uh, knee. So, yeah, this is extreme sports. That's what you usually don't see. That's the, that's the life. Oh, do you mind recording anything, or you won't, don't want to? It's fine. Here's your phone. Thank you, sir. How are you feeling, Mike? Wait, I mic you up. <laughs> are you? You're already mic'd up. Always mic'd up. <laughs> How are you feeling? Uh, a little bit looser than I was before, mm -hmm. uh, especially in the ligaments that hold my knee together. Ouch. Uh, looks like uh, I puffed up my LCL and um, something called a fat pad, I believe, under okay. my patella. Is pretty angry at the way I landed. <laughs> I uh, drifted sideways from takeoff and just felt off balance the whole time. And I just laid in the bag sideways. Yeah. And just the wheel laid on my knee and bent it in a weird way. I actually don't think I've seen the video yet. I just I know what I felt video. like. Oh my god, her reaction in front. Yeah. That was it. Uh, so let's see. Yeah, I am so tweaked. All the way. All the way. I can't bring it back. My arms are even like in the wrong position to bring it back. Um, it looks like I'm just like trailing my right arm like the whole time, which is making the sideways lean worse. Yeah, and then you're just landing. Come down. Sideways, yeah. And yeah, just tweak the wheel against the knee. Oh. It would be great to take a rest and not go take a flight tomorrow at 6 a.m. Yep, that, that's, uh, <laughs> as it stands, that's when I'm leaving. I was also planning on riding. <laughs> I was gonna go ride a bike park after this. <laughs> I would love to as well while people are just both, <laughs> they're both in the same position. Uh, ah, the will, but the, the body. Ah. Yeah, well, I'll get back to you guys in a sec. All right, so actually I didn't realize that this was already the end of the show. I should have known. <laughs> So this is it for Masters of Dirt 2024 in Vienna. Now they'll be doing also a bunch of other shows. Amazing experience, amazing people, amazing everything. Great to meet all of those people. Hey, thanks so much. And, and slowly, tomorrow I'll be making my way back home. Everything is being disassembled. Thanks for having me here. So if you're still here, leave a like on the video, subscribe to see more content like this. I'll see you in the next video. See you soon.